one of an obstetrical emergency condition. Uh, name of the condition is eclampsia. So first we will see what is uh, introduction. Eclampsia it is a, uh, a disease. The name came from a Greek word known as eclampis. That is a flash of lightning. Why? Because this comes uh, under a sudden attack for a woman and uh, nearly 80% of the cases uh, uh, premonitory symptoms will be very much less. And if you see what is the main definition of uh, eclampsia, the preeclampsia superimposed with the tonic clonic uh, convulsions or grand mal seizure is known as eclampsia. What is preeclampsia? Preeclampsia is defined as unknown etiology after 28th week. Uh, the pregnant women will be characterized by increased BP of 140 by 90 mm Hg with uh, uh, proteinuria with or without edema. So, this is known as preeclampsia. If this preeclampsia is superimposed with the grand mal uh, seizures that is fits, then it is known as the eclampsia. Eclampsia, it is a serious life threatening uh, situation that happens for the mother and the fetus. Now, now we will see what is the incidence. Incidence varies from countries to countries. Developed country, if you see the incident is a little bit less comparing to the developing countries. Developing country due to the referral services and all, uh, the incident is uh, more uh, higher in uh, ratio. If you see a pregnancy, 1 in 500 various, 1 in 30 pregnancy, the eclampsia cases, the convulsions we can see. And if you see the mortality and morbidity of the pregnant women as well as the uh, uh, neonate and the uh, fetus is uh, higher in the eclampsia situation. And uh, if you see the care has to be given uh, 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 very good uh, referral services and in a institutional uh, uh, ICU setup an emergency uh, care has to be given for this eclampsia cases. Uh, next we will see what is the uh, main uh, etiopathogenesis behind this uh, Eclampsia. So, if you see here, say more or less same as uh, preeclampsia due to maternal vascular diseases and uh, the women having a genetic immunological inflammatory uh, conditions uh, and uh, if the woman is having any other uh, uh, blood uh, problem, blood, blood related problems, malnutrition, primary gravidas, higher ratios of multiple pregnancy, all this uh, cases and unknown etiology, what happens, there will go with uh, decreased uteroplacental uh, insufficiency and they will go with uh, two factors, one is uh, 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 formation of vasoactive substances, other one is nauseous agents. Formation of naso uh, uh, vasoactive substances like prostaglandin, uh, then uh, stentothelial uh, uh, factors, so all this will uh, trigger and uh, nauseous agents like cytokine, interleukin and uh, 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 these uh, lipid peroxides all will go with endothelial injury. Endothelial means blood vessels injuries and this will go with uh, main is vasospasm, constriction. Vasospasm leads to hypertension. Second one is anuria. Then next one is uh, the women can go with the seizures and the liver ischemia, renal ischemia problems. Then capillary leakage. Capillary leakage they can go with uh, edema formation and uh, uh, they can go with excessive protein loss through the urine and uh, last one is uh, hemoconcentration, thrombocytopenia problem that is blood coagulation disturbances all happen. This is a major etiopathogenesis behind the eclampsia. And if you see the causes of eclampsia, what is the main causes of uh, uh, seizures if you see cerebral anoxia, cerebral uh, dyserythremia, cerebral ischemia and the worst increases uh, formation of uh, neurotransmitters and the failure of uh, autoregulation of the cerebral fu function. And these are the major causes. If you see the onset antenatal period if you see 50 percentage before the uh, labor process that is intranatal process. So, repeated attack can happen that is 50 percentage. Intranatal if you see 30 percentage of the cases. Intranatal uh, may be the on the sudden uh, sudden attack and postnatal also 20 cases 20 percentage on the sudden or first time uh, in the postnatal period they can get. And we will see go with next clinical manifestation. Clinical features if you see the seizures mainly four stages are there one is premonitory stage then next one is tonic stage clonic stage and stage of coma 
first we will see premonitory stage premonitory stage that patient will go with unconscious and the muscle twitching will starts with the face tongue and the limbs and here the women if you see they will have uh, have a eyeball movement and it can even uh, fixed to at a point and they either to the left or the uh, right side and this will be uh, uh, duration of the uh, premonitory stage will be 30 seconds and next one is tonic stage tonic stage uh, uh, trungus of first tonus. Uh, so what happened the whole body go with the tonic spasm and the hands will be if you see the limbs will be flexed hands will be clutched and the respiration will be cessation. sinosis will be appears for the woman and same uh, eyeballs will be fixed at the one region the duration will be one to uh, 30 seconds only so here also here sometimes uh, the frothy secretions can be started and uh, the tongue can be placed between the uh, uh, teeth and next stage is clonic clonic stage involuntary movements uh, whole body that is starts from the face um, um, uh, tongue and overall the limbs will be affected so clonic uh, uh, seizures attack will be there so here uh, if you see cyanosis will be there frothy secretion will be there and the women can go with the tongue bite as a result a blood uh, uh, stains will be there for the women strenuous uh, breathing will be there for the uh, person and this will be uh, duration will be one to four minutes and last one is stage of coma stage of coma that can be of a uh, uh, brief period or uh, uh, duration will be more okay so this uh, if the seizure attack repeatedly coming then it is known as the condition status eclampted eclampticus it is an emergency situation so these are the main four stages of uh, uh, clinical features premonitory stage tonic stage clonic stage and stage of coma then as we will see complications complication if you see uh, the women uh, they can go with the pulmonary complication like pulmonary edema aspiration adult respiratory distress uh, uh, syndrome can be happen okay and uh, cardiac cardiac they can go with cardiac left ventricular uh, failure can happen cardiac myopathy can be happen and the women will go with increased temperature hyperthermia uh, occur and uh, uh, liver problem liver ischemia necrosis kidney uh, failure can be happen for the women cerebral ischemia Ischemia, cerebral hemorrhage and eyes if you see rectal uh, detachments even complete blindness for the women can happen these all the changes can lead to one of the main thing is maternal death so this can happen in the uh, antenatal period and if you see intranatal period same or less uh, same uh, complications the women can happen and in the postnatal period puperial uh, sepsis can happen puperial uh, postpartum hemorrhage postpartum shock uh, and even uh, convulsions attack can be happen for the women later if you see later in the future pregnancy also same like uh, uh, pre uh, pre eclampsia accompanied with the convulsions can be happen for the women and the fetus if you see intra uterine growth retardation fetal distress hypoxia still birth perinatal mortality uh, these are the main uh, complication for the fetus and uh, if you see the women overall the complication that the end result multi-system organ failure and even the women can go with the death so as a nurse uh, our aim it is a sophisticated care multidisciplinary approach and all has to be very much alert and the drill has to be practiced in the hospital setting how to take care of the eclamptic uh, uh, patients to save the life of the mother and the fetus so you normally in the obstetrical ward they will be keeping next we will see what is the uh, uh, management management uh, uh, we have to go with the regular supportive care in that we can see the diagnostic evaluation uh, this can be helped by the clinical features of the women history detail can be collected all the lab measures like uh, such as uh, uh, renal test blood values uh, uh, then they can go with the liver function test and the blood coagulation factors thrombin prothrombin all the factors can be analyzed and the bp has to be closely monitored half an hourly and uh, the urine output uh, has to be done pulse oximetry central venous pressure has to be monitored for the women and the fetal surveillance fetal movement fetal maturity that has to be uh, clearly uh, identified by the uh, patient then next if you see we can go with administration of antibiotics that is ceftrioxin uh, uh, for the woman to prevent the infections and oxygen therapies can be given 10 liters in order to prevent the uh, uh, cerebral ischemia and cardiac 
failure and uh, if you uh, see the continuous uh, bladder uh, catheterization and note the proteinuria how much how the urine output uh, uh, is there for the women and if you see the medications medication such as uh, first uh, line of uh, arrange uh, treatment is uh, uh, magnesium sulfate magnesium uh, sulfate is a drug of choice to control the uh, seizures so, so starting those 4 gram iv or im can be given then 10 gram alternative buttocks can be uh, given for the mother close monitor of magnesium sulfate why this magnesium toxicity can be done uh, in our blood therapeutic level 4 to 7 milli equivalent per liter has to be there if it is excess magnesium toxicity will be there this has to be assessed one is uh, deep tendon reflexes if any reflexes is good uh, urine output more than uh, 30 ml should be there respiratory rate more than 12 if all these parameter is less uh, there is having magnesium toxicity then we can go with antidote of calcium gluconate drug of choice then next drug is uh, hypertensive uh, hypertensive anti-hypertensive drugs so labetalol can be given hydrolysin uh, drug of choice can be given if the woman is having status eclampticus repeated attack of con convulsion theopentane sodium uh, 0.5 uh, uh, gram can be given for the uh, women then next uh, diaciform so for the sedation diaciform drug of choice can be given chlorpromethacin can be given and another drug of choice is lictic cocktail regimen lictic cocktail regimen consists of three group of drugs chlorpromethacin promethacin and phenergan this these drugs of choice can be given and pethidine can be administered for the women and uh, uh, frusamide that is diuretics so for for any pulmonary edema or like that if any uh, if the woman is having less than uh, 30 ml of urine output and she is having any uh, CVP central uh, venous monitoring pressure hana, if it is more than uh, uh, 8 mm HD then they can go with the dopamine administration also okay all the parameters has to be monitored such as uh, temperature for increased uh, temperature is there BP uh, if it is systolic pressure more than 200 mm HD is there and pulse uh, uh, respiration uh, urine output pulse oxy uh, oxygen saturation if it is less than 90 uh, oxygen saturation all has to be monitored very crucially uh, during this uh, period and the women can be lie in a left lateral position and we have to very much careful no falls has to be there so when she have the um, uh, for when she have the sheeshes now the woman can fall and she can get accident tongue bite and the secretions can be there in the uh, oral and nasal pharynx so secretions can be removed otherwise aspiration pneumonia can be happen for for the women then next uh, these are the major uh, medical and uh, supportive measures can be done as obstetrical management if you see the obstetrical management we have to see uh, what is the maturity of the uh, baby and the stability of the mother where once the bp control only we can save the mother's life so whether we have to see whether the term gestation or not the term gestation whether the woman is on the labor or not in the labor and the if the mother is uh, not in the labor we have to see whether the fetus is dead live or uh, uh, mature so preterm is their corticosteroid therapy then we can deliver with the vaginal delivery favorable vaginal delivery otherwise any risk is there cesarean delivery if it is dead we can uh, spontaneously expulsion so all the termination has to be done within six to eight hours durations okay uh, once the fits is controlled then we can go with the delivery of the fetus if uh, uh, the baby is uh, healthy then they can go with the delivery of the fetus not in labor means see the gestational age of the baby then they can go with uh, decide whether uh, uh, induction of labor is there if any risk is there cesarean delivery can be done so in the eclampsia it is a uh, multidisciplinary team approach so we have to uh, clearly monitor the mother and we can go with the uh, saving the life of mother and the fetus so today in the class we have uh, seen about definition of the eclampsia uh, then etiopathogenesis clinical manifestation and uh, complications uh, then uh, how to diagnostic uh, uh, features and medical management and the supportive care okay uh, bye students so next video we will meet with another topic